guys, it's me, and we're here with another War Thunder video, and today we're going to be playing the F4U for me. I personally love this aircraft. I didn't start playing it until, well, a little ago. I don't know exactly when, but I got kind of addicted to playing this thing, and then I really, I really found out that this thing was really good when I got into a game. Hold on, let me find it here. Well, I can't find it, but the closest the closest example is this. Um, I I ran into some game. I it was I think the second game or third game when I was playing the F4U um, 4B here, and I I ended up killing like four people and getting like one or two assists. But I, at this point or at that point, I didn't realize that it was it was really good. So. <laughs> It caught me by surprise. Anyway, let's let's get into this. Now, usually, in the F4U, 4B, I I side climb, so we're gonna we're gonna continue to stick with that. Actually, I think I only didn't side side climb like once or twice or whatever. You need the side climb in this because if you don't, the the enemy BF109s, you know, Paco Wolfs, all all those aircraft. They'll have an advantage over you in terms of height in the beginning. You wanna you wanna climb until you're at a height where you can see that you know everyone is kind of below that, or at least almost at your level, and then you can you can strike. Because if if you're um, if you're too low, if you're too low. Then you're end up you're gonna end up getting dropped on by an enemy fighter that can turn better than you, like the K4 maybe for example, and it won't just turn better than you, but it'll, it'll then be going faster than you, and you don't want to be in that position. I mean, the worst case scenario you could try and pull off and maybe go into dive, but even then it's gonna be hard to get them off you. Hopefully these bombers can uh, fight them off. They seem pretty. Well, not pretty close, but they seem kind of close to each other. So hopefully they can. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're not. They're not. <laughs> nope. They're not coming. They're not coming out of that one. You got a Doe three three five, and then you got a Fock a Wolf also going for them. Yeah, one's already gone, and I think these B seventeens won't be able to last for too long. I don't know. Yeah, they're getting picked off here. We even got a BF-109 joining in on the the horror. Yeah, two bombers already down, and now this B-17 is going running for his life. He must be going pretty fast. Hold on, where is he on the map here? One eternity later. Oh, okay, well... Well, this is not gonna end up well. I wanna help him, but at this point he, he looks beyond help. I think I'm still gonna be able to put up a fight here though. All right, so we got a, we got a 109 over here that I'm actually gonna go for. You know what, hold on. There's two 109s, this one's higher though, so. The higher the th uh, the plane is, the more the threat it is. Unless it's like a taw, because actually that is still a threat. Because even though that can't really turn, I don't want to fight against that with its powerful guns. Anyway, that was a bad example. Anything like if it was like a 1.0 vehicle, for example, don't wanna. There we go. He's gone. See, these guns absolutely shred. It takes like, well, one time it took me. Two, two shells, not two shells. Wow, now I'm speaking tank terms here. I guess you could say shells, but it takes two bullets to to take out a wing, or it took two bullets. Um, yes. This thing is oh, these these 20 mils, and there's four of them, so <laughs> it gets even better when when they are so deadly. But there's so many. Oh. Okay, I think I I didn't really notice this over here. That there's a F one nine coming back here, but there's also a Focke Wolf one ninety pretty high. 
That's, that's pretty scary. That was a miss. Now, you usually want to keep your speed, but... I'm going to kind of bleed it off here since this guy's like in a 3v1. Oh, he's pulling off, actually. Or he's trying to get away. Oh, fuck a wolf. Yeah, I'm, I'm a gunner. No? Okay. It's an A5. Wait, isn't that like a 4.7? What's a 4.7 doing here? Okay, I have quite a bit of these, so I'm just going to try and... Nah, it's not going to happen. Now, luckily, there's... Well, I was going to say there's multiple of us, but I just realized, oh, there's a 109. I think it's over for me. I mean, I could try get this guy off me, but I don't know what rank a G6 is or how good it is, what guns it has. But we're about to find out if he can take me out here pretty easily. Okay, we got a Faka Wolf coming for me. Yeah, I'm a goner. Ugh. I'll take the three kills though. <laughs> As you guys could tell from that first game, that this thing this thing just drops things really fast. That's what I love about this thing also. You you get into an area and there's probably gonna be well whoever's there is gonna be mostly dead when you come out. Most of the time now I've had problems sometimes where I um I run into maybe like a more than Maybe a few more than uh, three at the max or four or whatever. And then, like, maybe maybe I'll take a couple of them out, right? But then they all get on me and then it's over. And I think that's also what kind of happened a little bit in the first match, although they, they kind of intercepted a bit after I dropped. That's the only problem with the F4U, uh, 4B. When, when you get low, when you get low there and you're, you know, you take out a few guys or you're still fighting a few guys or whatever whatever is left if someone comes from higher you know someone comes from above out of nowhere you know intercepting it's not really going to end well i mean if it's a ta 152 i could definitely see that going not wrong at all if, as long as you can turn him pull him pull him off and his bullets coming at you you know just get away from him and um yeah I'm especially being in the F4U, F4B, I don't just have really good speed. I also have 420s that love destroying things. Hold on, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, these are also air targets. So, <laughs> anyone who wants to fight me, they're not going to get out alive. Well, I, I think I made a big mistake here. I didn't climb enough. Alright, this, this is starting to look a lot better. That Doe 335 doesn't really scare me too much, though. And all the Focke Wolves and BF 109s, all the things that could pose a threat, are pretty low. I mean, they're all they're all below me here. Hopefully this guy pulls up. If he doesn't, then I'm... Is he gonna pull up? I'll, I'll be committed if you pull up, sir. Just pull up. That's all you gotta do. Just pull up. Now, I don't wanna... Try and outturn him here. I'm just gonna. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh god, that was a bit too close. But not just that. Um, it didn't even feel like he was resisting. It just felt like he wanted to die almost. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going a bit too fast here. I'm gonna pull off. As much as I want to go for that guy, it's not worth my life in this game. Because this thing, I forgot to point out, has a really high repair cost. Oh! Gone. Ooh, we got a fuck a wolf over there. I wonder if that doe's going to swoop in. Doesn't feel like it. There's a couple 264s there, and I don't think that P47 uh, is going to get him. <laughs> Wait, was there was there such thing as a P57? I almost said that. Now I need to look it up, because if that's an actual... Oh, nope, okay, can't look it up right now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is going to be interesting. Oh, okay, well, it's a... 
2v2, so this is actually really going to be interesting here. Oh, is this guy going to pull up? Oh, no, I'm screwed. Oh, I need to help my guy. My, my guy, well, my, my teammate here. <laughs> yeah, my guy. Yeah, bro. Okay, he's screwed. I, I really messed up. I feel very bad. I, I was taking it a bit easy on the guns, but I, I forget how you barely go through the bullets. I mean, I've only gone through half, and I've done so much already. Okay, I screwed up. Mistakes were made, guys. Mistakes were made. I'll admit it. Uh, yeah, mistakes are also about to be made. I can feel it. I almost just maneuver killed him, I think. I could be wrong here. Okay. This this is whew. This is this is getting too out of hand. Oh no. Okay, cut off speed here. And we're gonna We're gonna pull up here. We're gonna pull her up. Alright, now this also, what I like about it, it, it could take a few bullets. Yeah, I'm screwed though. I'm... Yep. Wait, is my... What? Okay, I'm... I'm not paying attention one bit is happening. Um, we got a TA-152 out here, just... Ch okay, we got a couple TA-152s. Now, I don't worry about them too much, except for head-ons. You need to get enough speed to turn, and then then they're screwed, kind of. You see, the thing about the TA is, its air spawn gives it a, a really good advantage, but the plane itself is, other than the guns, is not really good. Actually, in fact, if the guns were were bad, I'd suppose that thing would go down to like 4.7 or whatever, I don't know. Actually, maybe even lower than that, if, if the guns were, you know, really bad. But the aircraft itself, its maneuverability is not really good. Although I think its speed might be okay. Okay. I really want to capitalize on this, but this this uh, Focke Wolf all the way there, and this G50. Oh, I gotta capitalize on this. Oh, I need to. It's going to be risky. Actually, you know what? That G56 is going for me. This is going to be the problem. I, I didn't climb... Well, actually, he's really high. Holy... Holy Jesus, boy, is he seven kilometers up? Okay, I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. I don't even know what this thing is does best. I don't know. <laughs> does it turn? I mean... I watched, like, one video on it, and that's it. It has really good guns, so I don't want it to hit me. Oh, you know what? Maybe it can't sustain the speed, though. That's what it seems like. He's trying to pull out before he dies here. I really dropped really low though. Um, is he gonna be able to pull out of this one? Because I got a really strong engine here. Oh, he's got a friend. Yeah, it's over for me. It's over. No. K4. This, this is not how it should be, okay? Mr. K4. You can't do this. Okay, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm gonna admit it. I'm gonna admit it right now. If I don't get out of this, I don't know what... Oh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit here. I'm gonna try and pull this off. If I get him here... Ooh. No! Ah, oh, no! Anyway, guys, I... I hope you've enjoyed my video. I actually had... Quite a lot of fun making this. This is definitely going to be in my, my, I don't know, top three list. Maybe, maybe less than that. I don't know. Top, top five? Top, top ten? Maybe? I don't know. And it was really fun. Anyway, um, yeah. I hope, hope you guys, uh, enjoyed this also. This was, I personally think, got to be one of the best, best videos I ever made personally. From, from, a youtuber standpoint you guys may not be the best video you've ever seen from me but this is really fun this was really fun anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed i'll see you next time hit that subscribe button if you like the content i make you know you enjoy this type of stuff and also to support this channel if you wanna 
Um, is that notification bell to become part of the Royal Army, but also to see when I when I record videos because it's kind of random when I record videos. And hit that like if you enjoy stuff like this and you want to see more of it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Hoorah!